part in this video we're going to do another one of these typing definition uh, vocabulary words so let's make a new document we're going to close out our last one and go to create new and go up here to the top choose web choose web most common and then over to the right type your name and then type the word leading so this file we're going to learn what leading is leave it on white background and then press create. Here's our artboard. I'm going to do control plus to zoom in. Make sure that you are on um, essentials default, window, workspace, essentials, and make sure that you have your character tab open and your layers tab open. Those are the two that you need open. This is character, this is layers. All right, let's pick back up where we left off. Now we're going to learn about the word leading. So I'm going to click on my text tool and click off on the left hand side and type the word in all caps leading and then press the check mark. After I press the check mark I'm going to go over here to the font size and actually let's just type in our own number. Let's do what we've been doing 125 and press enter and then get the move tool and move it over here in the center. Let's change the color again Say OK. And now let's write the definition of leading. But this time, instead of just clicking, I want you to click on the side and drag a box. This time, we're going to put our um, sentence in this box. Do not make it go across your whole page. Let's make it smaller, and I will explain why as we go. So when you click and drag a box, it fills the box with text. So I want you to click um, turn the caps lock off and type the definition. Okay, so notice how it put all of my text in the box. It didn't fit because my font was too big for the box. So I'm going to click this check mark to get out of the typing mode. Go up here to my character panel and once again we're going to make the sentence smaller. I still want you to keep it kind of big though. Let's make it still bigger. I want you to put it on 72 so that you can see how the text is on two different lines. You need to have it at least two different lines of text to show what leading is. I'm going to take the move tool and move it under here and I want you to adjust the leading between these lines of text. So the leading is done over here. It's the um, panel or the box with the two A's on top of each other. So right now it's on 90 and it's usually going to be a number that's kind of close to the size of your font. So I want you to go over here and experiment with different leading. Now if it's really a small leading it puts the lines of text almost on top of each other and you can't see it. If you have a really big leading, there's a little bit bigger. You want it to at least be the size of your font though. So if we put it on 72, let's even type in our own number. Let's type in 125 again. All right, so that's what leading is. It's the space between lines of text. And the last thing you need to do is type your name. So click on the bottom right and click the check mark. And then go over here and we can make the font for our name a lot smaller and get the move tool move this. Let's actually move all of our layers. Let's go to the leading uh, definition and make sure it's all centered nicely on our page. Once again it's going to automatically make a PSD which is a Photoshop file and it has your layers. You need to save that for yourself. Save OK and then we need to go File, Save As and choose JPEG. The JPEG is not a layered file, but it's the file that you need to put in your Google slide presentation for your grade. Press save and you can leave this on the default. 